The Coptic Liturgy of St. Mark The liturgy of our father St. Mark the Apostle, which was collected and arranged by our most blessed father, St. Cyril the 24th Patriarch of Alexandria. This liturgy was originally put by St. Mark the Apostle, the evangelist of Egypt, then was translated into the Coptic language, the Bahiric dialect. St. Mark handed it down to his successor, Ananias, and to the clergy with him, and it remained circulating from generation to generation without written form till the year 330, when St. Athanasius, the 22nd Patriarch, wrote it down for St. Frumentius, the first Ethiopian bishop and its great Catholicus, whom he ordained and sent there. This liturgy was put in Egypt for the Egyptians, as St. John Chrysostom says. It is certain that the Coptic liturgies were available in the Coptic language even in the Greek era of the Coptic Church history. And most of the inhabitants of the land of Egypt, who were by that time using only the Coptic language in their speech, were using this liturgy. Later, when the use of the Coptic language was neglected, the liturgy was translated into Arabic. The liturgy of St. Mark remained the liturgy in use till the 6th century AD, when two other Coptic liturgies were used. In the 12th century, the use of the liturgy of St. Mark was confounded to the period of the Great Lent and to the Coptic months of Kiak during Advent. The 14th century Coptic scholar Abu al-Barakat in his famous encyclopedia has this comment. The liturgies which are firmly established in the Coptic Church are three. The one which is used throughout the whole year, whether in the period of fasting or otherwise, is the liturgy of St. Basil, the Bishop of Caesarea of Cappadocia. The second liturgy, which was usually used by the Egyptians only in the Greek land and in the months of Kiak, was the liturgy of St. Mark the Apostle, the evangelist and messenger of Egypt, which St. Cyril the Great, the 24th Patriarch, perfected. The third liturgy, which was set for use in the days of divine feasts and the joyful rite, was the liturgy of St. Gregory. In another place, Abu al-Barakat says that St. Cyril has perfected the liturgy of St. Mark the Apostle with the responses of the deacon in the litany for the patriarch. There is a general consensus among scholars that the Egyptian rite has preserved for us the rite of the Last Supper, which the Lord Jesus Christ himself has observed with his disciples in Jerusalem. The old tradition of the first Jerusalem liturgy has not survived in any other place as it did in Egypt. Moreover, the liturgy of St. Mark had its offshoots which are the liturgy of St. Basil, St. Cyril, St. Gregory, and the Ethiopic Canon, or the liturgy of all the Apostles. It's a great pleasure for the Coptic Institute for Higher Studies to present this professional recording for the hymns of the Liturgy of St. Mark, one of the most ancient music of the Coptic Church, which is truly a vivid symphony full of profound spirituality and depth. Let us then listen to it with a prayerful spirit. 